Welcome to this demonstration entitled External Aerodynamics Analysis in ANSYS AIM. In this demonstration, we will import a Boeing 747 airliner solid model, generate a hemispheric fluid region 1,000 meters in diameter, then mesh, set up, solve, and post process the model in ANSYS AIM. Our boundary conditions are such that the airliner is cruising at 39,000 feet at a velocity of 0.85 Mach, standard atmospheric conditions apply where the free stream pressure is 19,680 pascals and the free stream temperature is minus 56.5 degrees centigrade. So we have launched the AIM interface and the first thing we do is click on this fluid flow process template which we're going to use to set up and solve our CFD simulation. We do want to import an existing geometry so we'll leave that checked. Click on create simulation process and the file that we're looking for is this Boeing 747 parasolid. So here is the solid model loaded into the AIM interface. We want to edit the geometry, so we click here on geometry and edit geometry again. And this opens the model in the space plane solid modeler interface. First thing we want to do is generate a spherical fluid volume. So we click insert sphere. We check here on no merge so that the sphere that is created is a separate solid than the 747 model. We click on the datum, we drag, and we want 1,000 meters to be the diameter. Okay. So there are your two volumes. Next thing we do is we combine the two volumes. We, are, we want to intersect them to create a void uh, where the 747 solid is. So the target object is the sphere. The cutter object, here, sorry, we want to get rid of keep cutter because we don't need it. And the cutter object is the 747. So we click on it. Okay. And now if we uncheck this solid. All that is left is the sphere with the void where the 747 solid used to be. Now what we want to do is split the sphere in half. So we save, save bandwidth during the solution process. So we click here on create a plane. We want to do it along the x-axis. And the next thing we want to do is we want to split the sphere with the plane that we just created. So split body, the target object is the sphere, and the cutter is the plane we just created. Click on it. Okay, so now if we uncheck the plane and solid number one, we are left with a single hemisphere with a 747 void. And that is what it looks like. So now we are done editing ge the geometry. We X out a space claim. And there is the new geometry in AIM. Going back to the simulation process, the next item in our workflow is the mesh. So we click on mesh. I'm going to leave the mesh resolution slider where it is. But I do want to edit some parts of the mesh. So for global sizing, I would like to change from curvature to curvature and proximity. And also uh, under mesh controls, this inflation layer requires attention. So I'm going to define the inflation layer. First thing I got to do is hide the hemisphere and hide symmetry plane. And all we're left with is the aircraft surfaces. So I want to define the inflation layer on all the aircraft surfaces. I'm going to select all of those. Click your plus. And now the location for the inflation layer is the 72, 72 faces corresponding to the aircraft. And at this point I am ready to start meshing. So that is what the surface mesh looks like. So now we are ready to go to the next item on our workflow, which is physics. And the first thing I want to do is show all the surfaces. Okay, now let's work our way down through the physics definitions. Okay, I want to click on thermal here. 
because since we are running at Mach 0.85, the flow is compressible, so you have to turn on the energy equation. For material assignments, we are looking at air, but it is not constant property air. We're going to be using ideal gas. Okay. For the physics options, we are going to use uh, Reynolds, av Reynolds Average Navier-Stokes, but we're not going to use the default turbulence model of K-omega SST. We're going to use K-epsilon standard. We are doing this because the inflation layers that we defined in the previous meshing step do not go close enough to the wall in order to use K-omega SST. So we're going with a standard K-epsilon model. Continuing with our physics definition, okay, now we want to uh, add some fluid flow conditions. So let's click on this surface, which is a symmetry plane. We're going to add fluid flow conditions, symmetry. Okay. Now let's rotate, and now we want to define the hemisphere. As far field conditions, right click, add physics fluid flow conditions, far field. Okay, for our gauge static pressure, ambient conditions at 39,000 feet for a standard day are 19,680 pascals. So that corresponds to minus 81,645 pascals gauge. Our Mach number is 0.85. Our flow direction is x is negative 1. y equals 0, z equals 0, this would be for 0 angle of attack of course, and 0 slip angle as well. The temperature for a standard day is minus 56.5 centigrade, and our turbulence specification is going to use low intensity and viscosity ratio. Now go back to fluid flow conditions, we want to add the aircraft walls and since we have defined every other surface in the model we can just define as wall and define the wall and AIM will do it automatically assigning wall boundary conditions to every other surface that has not been defined previously. Okay, So going back to physics one caveat we're not running this model with the engines on so just assume that the aircraft is you know gliding along at Mach 0.85 with the engines off. Now let's look at the solver options. For solver settings, we're going to set the limit for number of processes to two. That's the default. Solution controls, we're going to leave it at 200 maximum number of iterations. For numerical controls, I change the solution control. I want to change the coupling control. Pressure velocity coupling from coupled to simple. And I want to change the explicit relaxation and velocity from 1 to 0 0.5. Going back to physics, this one I think we're ready to solve. So I'm going to click here on solve physics. So our run has completed. So now let's look at some results. Evaluate the results. Okay. By default, there is a vector field object here. Not going to be very informative in this case. So let's look at Mach number contours on the symmetry plane. Okay, so right mouse click on the symmetry plane, add results, contour, and let's do Mach number. And evaluate. And there you can see. So now let's zoom in. Okay. You can also look at the contours of pressure on the aircraft surface. 
there wall one is our graph surface the variable is pressure evaluate And there we are. Let's zoom in on that. Okay, so this concludes our demonstration. Thank you so much for watching.